What's up guys and welcome back to F1 2020. It's week two of the season. We are going to be taking on Bahrain this weekend, which I'm pretty excited about. Should be a fun race, lots of straight lines and speed, but uh, obviously there's some managerial things we're going to have to take on before we get into that. So we've got to set up what our staff are going to be working on all week long. Uh, make sure we're, we're kind of all on, on point there. We've also, I'm pretty sure we've unlocked the ability to get secondary sponsors. So obviously our main sponsor is set for the entire season. We have a seasonal goal for them. But our secondary sponsors have certain objectives for every single race weekend. So uh, we're, we're going to see what we can do. I'm excited for it. Hopefully you guys are too. Things are, uh, things are going well here for Cooper Motors. We had a pretty solid performance in the first race of the uh, of the season. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna say, I mean, honestly, it's about racing, but really money makes the world go round. So we, we've got to figure out what we've got going on with the sponsor here. So it looks like we have a ton of secondary sponsors we can choose from. We've got contracts everywhere from 56 to 91 days, it looks like. We've got weekly income along with bonuses that can be hit as well. Part of me wants to get longer term contracts because obviously ultimately that's more money. But at the same time, if our team keeps rising, our performance keeps rising, we keep doing better, our potential sponsors may get even better. So we might not want to get locked down for a long time because we may be more valuable as time goes on. To be honest, I'm kind of liking Atlantic's terms here. And it's interesting because it definitely fits our vibe. It, we've got Pacifico, and if we had Atlantic as a sponsor, that'd be pretty cool. Their goal is fairly easy, complete a total of 75 laps during a race weekends. I mean, I would just have to do a lot of practice uh, and kind of running through everything. But you guys could see goal bonus of 94,500, which isn't that great, but 102,000 per week for 70 days that is the um that is by far the most weekly income that we can get so i i, I think i'm gonna go for it for our first one we might as well just get like a, a big dog locked down and then as i was saying as we get better as we rank up we're gonna get better ones as we go so it looks like that's gonna bring our total weekly income to around 350k which is pretty good we've got 1.4 million uh, in the bank right now, which is not going to be enough to buy anything. So I, I think we're done with that. Let's check out, uh, I mean, we definitely have R&D, and then we also need to check out our activities. So it looks like we have two days until race race time, until the race weekend. So we've got sim training for second driver experience, uh, a claim for us, durability team dinner. Ooh, that plus, plus to department morale, that would be pretty good. And then a sponsor event for team acclaim losing cash. I'm gonna say let's let's hook up the durability team with a nice five thousand dollar dinner. Wow. I'll I'll take it. I like it. Alright, so we've got that set up. We've also got R and D here. So it's view our tree. Obviously, we did quite a bit of practice and stuff in the last weekend. We've got twelve hundred points. So I'm just gonna say let's it's let's go me. for recommended. This is probably what I'd invest in. That part was failed previously. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go for it again. I think I might just I might just one? stick with the the, the suggested 40% failure chance. See, should we be doing stuff that's not not that high? Like are there are there things that we can get with with fewer fewer failure possibilities? 30%, 30%. See, I'm feeling like our staters minor energy recovery system, fuel efficiency, engine power. I'm I'm going to go with I'm going to go with this guy. Let's let's develop this. All right, sounds good. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. So that's gonna use a lot of our stuff. We might be able to do one more. Zero percent failure chance. That's what I like to hear. That's the stuff we need to be working on. So there we go. We spent a bunch of those. I mean, everything else is looking good when it comes to facilities. I don't think we're gonna be able to buy anything yet. A lot of these are in the like two million dollars plus. I think there might be a couple 1.5 millions that we might be able to get soon. Oh, there's a one million here. Your second driver's experience stat will be improved. Racecraft and awareness stat will be improved. See, I feel like we need to. I think marketing's important because you got to spend money to make money. But I feel like we need to focus more on our our vehicle than we do on our other driver. If you want me to be completely honest, I, I don't know if that's maybe a little bit selfish, but uh, I mean, we got to eat, baby. You guys got to let me know if you uh, if you enjoy like the business action side of it. You know what I mean? Obviously, every episode we're going to have a race, 
But if you guys want to see some of the business decisions and, and all that stuff at the start, I feel like that could be kind of a cool like layout, cool groundwork for the episode. We start off in the office, we end out on the track, and we get to get to see this business grow. So we'll see what happens. You guys know last episode we had the difficulty low to start. We had good qualifying. We upped the difficulty, fell back to sixth. It's going to be interesting to see what we can do this time around. I'm curious to see where we're going to end up qualifying. I'd like it to be somewhere in the upper midfield. I feel like that'd be a good spot for us. And uh, I guess we'll see what happens. But I'm just going to go through. I'm not going to bore you guys with all the, the you know, practice stuff. I'm going to go through. I'm going to max out everything we can. I'm going to do all of the activities that we have available. And uh, I'm going to see you guys when it's time to qualify. So this was uh, our best practice session that we've ever had. I really took my time, really just kind of focused on it. Tried to learn the track, tried to just kind of hone in on everything the game was giving me. We had 500 out of 550 points, which was pretty solid. We didn't get the last 50 because I just, I didn't do that thing. It was going to take five whole laps of just craziness, so I skipped it. But um, if there's any, any consolation prize here on day one of practice, I actually set the fastest time out of the field. I was the only person that ran on softs, so... I don't know how much it means, but I'll take it. So now it's gonna be time to take everything we've learned and put it to the test. Let's see uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into, man. One thing I, I definitely did learn throughout, throughout practice is that sometimes less is more. Like I started on this track, there's lots of straights here, lots of speed, that sort of thing. So through all of these corners, I was trying to break super hard and then immediately get back on the gas. And sometimes that's just not what you want to do. Sometimes you just, you want to kind of kind of coast a little bit and just kind of let let the, the apex come to you in a sense. You know what I mean? So like through here, you kind of coast a little bit and then you get on it. You kind of coast a bit and then you get on it lightly and you just kind of let it come to you and I, I feel like we're much we're much faster when we do that obviously you mainly want to brake when you have your tires straight when you're in a straight line you don't want to brake when you're in a corner that's never a good idea so uh, so far it looks like we're we're looking at about P7 ooh see like there we kind of got on it a little bit too early and we ended up Ended up going a little bit wide. You gotta let those corners come to you, Trev. You gotta kinda kinda glide through here and then accelerate. Just have it be one smooth motion of dance. Looks like Verstappen is up there wanting to take that pole spot. I'm gonna see. We're gonna hit DRS here. It's looking like we're gonna be stuck in, in P7, which honestly, I feel like is a very respectable spot. We're about half a second behind the front runner, which really isn't bad. So it looks like Vettel was able to beat out Verstappen for pole right there at the end. Then we've got Valdery, Lewis, Shaw Leclerc, Alexander Albon. We're coming in at P7. We've got Danny Rick, Sergio Perez, and Lando Norris behind us. All right, let's go ahead and advance. I'm feeling good about that, dude. The stage is set for another enthralling race here in the kingdom of Bahrain. A Ferrari stronghold in years gone by, but will they be able to add to their record today? I don't know. Sebastian's looking pretty good up front, not gonna lie. We go racing Got today clear around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit, with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tire into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. It's gonna be a fantastic night for racing. Hopefully we can keep it clean. Joining hopefully today we can make it all the way till the end. Spills. It's Anthony Davis. And hopefully we can do our boys to see back in the, the paddock proud. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Aiming for a top 10. Are we gonna be able to, to defend our P7 spot here? We're about to find out. Now, if anybody knows, this is probably something I should, I should look up. What is our ideal RPM? I'm imagining it's not full full throttle, right? Like we probably we probably want to have like a mid-range RPM off the starts there, something like that. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, break late and and get into it, Trev. Let's let's just solid solidify ourselves at a decent spot off the bat. Okay, we're looking pretty fast. Vettel's enjoying all the action that we've got out here. It's allowing him to kind of pull ahead. 
off the bat. I'm not trying to run into Hamilton there. Ooh, we've got Charles next to us as well. Okay, he's falling back. We're going to be good. Falling a single file. So we are behind Valtteri and Lewis Hamilton here. Starting off P P7 and ending up in P5 after the start is is not too bad. We just got a little bit a little bit slippery there in that last corner. So let's be careful. We got to remember, Trev. Like this track, it truly it, it taught me about slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Like just slow slow it down through here, coast for a minute, and then hit that accelerator once you you hit that groove. You know what I mean? This corner is really tricky. If you get your tire too far up on that right uh, that right curb, it wants to spin you out. I spun out like 15 times in practice, so definitely learned quite a bit there. Looks like, I mean, to be honest, it, it kind of, I don't want to speak too soon, but it kind of looks like we're holding our own here. We aren't getting completely dusted by, by Hamilton and, and Valtteri like we did in the last one. We'll see what we can do. Maybe our car is a little bit better at straight line speed compared to our last, our last Grand Prix. I don't know. We're, we're looking all right, fellas. You just love to see this. I mean, we've definitely pulled ahead of, of Albon behind us. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. See, like that was not a very clean corner right there, and they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna take advantage of that on us. We. Uh, we cannot afford those, Trev. We, we've got to be, we've got to be as perfect as possible all throughout. Ooh, getting our rear end out there, sliding a bit, not getting traction. All right, we need to, we need to focus out. There are a couple of problem corners. I mean, I probably could have stayed in the, uh, probably could have stayed in the practice mode more, and we would have gotten better. But where's the fun in that? I, I don't, I don't want to spend too long in it. Like I'm, I'm down to just kind of. Grind it out and see what happens. Ooh, be careful about that right tire. That's the spot I was telling you guys about. Don't don't let me get too too hot to trot to touch that thing because it spins you out in a heartbeat. Okay, so these front runners are definitely starting to pull ahead on us a bit. That was a pretty good corner right there. Not bad. Seb's making fastest laps at a minute 31. We're at DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. We're at a minute 32.6, so uh, we definitely are not performing at that level. Getting off the track a little bit there, but that's okay. Dude, these quarters are so fast. I just, this track is so much fun. We've got a yellow flag, green flag somewhere. Green flag, we're racing again. Scratch that, back to a green. I've got a feeling Albon's gonna make his move here. VSC deployed, the virtual safety car has been deployed. We need to keep a positive delta here. Slow down, maintain a positive delta. Gotta keep our delta down. We're gonna be fine, but we need to keep it as close to zero as possible. Try to keep it close to zero. Shoot. See, like this is an opportunity we might be able to might be able to gain a little ground if we keep it closer to zero than Hamilton is, but it's also a bit of a risk. Because you obviously don't want any sort of a penalty. So we gotta keep it going through here. Dude, it's honestly really. It's really hard to. Really hard to keep straight. See, we don't we don't want to go too fast, but we want to keep BSC it near zero. Ending. We're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Shoot. I feel like we did so well all throughout that. Oh, Albon goes for the inside right there. He got us. Good good pass, dude. We we had it so close to one the whole time until the very end. At the end, we got absolutely annihilated. Our delta was like 0.4 or something like that. Alright. We gotta refocus up, Trev. We got we got something to chase now. Urgh, I'm hungry. We're gonna chase down Albon. We're gonna see if we can if we can catch this maniac. We've got DRS. That's right, baby. I'm coming, Albon. Our gap behind is 1.9 seconds. 
I'm hungry. I'm coming. I'm right here. You can smell me. I know you can. I smell the blood in the water, that's for sure. Ooh, DRS zone again. This is kind of the shorter one, isn't it? Don't don't go running into the back of him here, Trev. Woo! No! We got loose a little bit there. We're going to be fine. Got DRS here. So what we need to do is in this, this last section of the, the lap, we just need to reduce the gap as much as possible. And we should have an easy time passing him on the front straight. It's so long. It's got DRS, high speeds, that sort of thing. Like, let's let's just try to keep this close. Tire condition is still looking good. That's good to hear. I can definitely feel him starting to not work as well. Oh shoot! I don't know if we I don't know if we kept it close enough. We might have to go another rounds. I mean, we... box box. We're coming in this lap. Shoot! You're serious that we're gonna have to box? When I'm, I'm fighting so hard against him right now, we better not put some hards on. I'm going to be mad. This is going to make me so mad, dude, because we were actually starting to make a move here. We were starting to starting to see, start to put put something together, something of a, a counterattack. We were getting close. I mean, not necessarily close, but... Ooh, see, that, that was a pretty good section right there. I feel like we did all right. Dude, we are, we are all over him, and then we're going to have to pit. Be careful. I mean, it's it's not it's not worth pushing too hard, especially if we're at the end of our, our tires life cycle. We're gonna pull off on over here into the pits. Whew. Ah, <sighs> dude, I'm sweating. There's no doubt about that. It's gonna be interesting to see where the the strategies line up here, how it's gonna end up working out with all about. It's so embarrassing that I sweat so much. Honestly, the problem is my PC is right to my left. Exit. exit so now. we're like. I, it's blowing the, the fans are blowing the hot air from my PC out into my my face the whole time that was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. So we've got the mediums on here Looks like we had a clean release there is nobody to worry about we are right back into the action Gonna see how everybody else fares with their stops hopefully uh Hopefully our strategy ends up being a good one. We're going to be able to actually get something done. Although I will say it does look like we are going to have some, some passing opportunities here. We've got Latifi, a fellow newbie on the circuit for this year. Got him right here in front of us. So we'll see what we can do. We we got to focus up though, Trev. Like we, just because just cause we're not fighting Albon anymore doesn't mean that we can we can take our day off. Like we, we got to go. We should be able to get around Latifi here. He's going to move off to the left. We're going to take the racing line right through here. All right. So really, we just, we got to, ooh, I was nervous about that right there. I let off the gas a bit, so we didn't end up spinning out. Uh, we've got to go Terminator mode. Who's in front of us here? Lewis Hamilton. We're not going to take him down. Um, shoot. I was gonna say we just like every every time we pass somebody we get a new target and we just we go for it That was a bit of a corner cut wouldn't you say? Teammates in the pits. I thought that was gonna be the stewards reviewing us So it looks like with everybody in the pits. Oh, we've got we've got Valtteri up here. I Was really wanting to take that long and wide and get around him, but obviously that's not gonna happen So we're we're into p5 here Albon's P6 pretty far behind us, so we did get that back at least. Dude, I was nervous about running into the back of him right there. All right, Trev, we, we got to do better than that. I'm not giving up on, on catching these mercs, though, man. Like, I'm I'm the never-say-never never type. We, we are just going to keep on fighting for everything that we can get. We don't even have DRS. That would be a pretty big assistance for us. Ooh, that was kind of a slow corner there. I don't know. I, I think, you know, right now, obviously, we're not really meant to compete with them. But I think with time, I think as we as we keep doing our thing, keep getting more sponsorship money and upgrade our, our facilities and stuff, we might actually be able to be up in that, that top couple of spots in the Constructors uh, series. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We have, five, we have five laps left. We still have one-third of this race left. 
Never say never. I, I feel like most of the excitement is probably over. I think if anything, we might have a bit of a tussle with Albon by the end of it. But I, I can't really see anything else miraculous happening unless your boy just completely, completely ruins ruins the bed. I'm, I'm worried this might be it right here. I'm, I'm thinking, yep, he's going to try to make his move. He is likely going to get in there. No problem at all. Come on, baby. This is our, our first attempt. I mean, we're still in DRS range, which is good. About 0.7 seconds behind him. I feel like this first corner is one of our best. If we break late. Oh, put them brakes on, baby. There we go. Just really don't... Ooh, he locked up right there. Be careful, Trev. Shoot. Stay stay on the line here. Stay on the line here. Oh, this is so intense. Shoot, he kind of took off on us a bit right there. See, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to do too much, though. You know what I mean? Like, I realize sometimes I can do a little bit too much. I can get a little bit too excited, and I end up breaking a little bit too late or, you know, making, making a silly passing attempt or something. Just, just try to stay... Con conservative here we've got a couple laps to make a move we definitely lost some time right there that's all right we're, we're fighting we're a dog baby we're tracking them down we're starting to put together some some pretty nice corners I'm not gonna lie some of the ones that we've struggled with the entire day so far Ooh, we got a little loose right there oh we have a lot of speed here came in a little bit too hot we had to slow down, otherwise we were going to make that corner. Obviously, our tires are, are not in their best shape. So if there was ever a lap to do something, it's going to be this last lap here. Come on. Oh, my gosh, dude. We're actually in pretty good pretty good shape here. We're .6 behind him. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Just don't ruin the race, Trev. Here we go. This chicane section is, is never, never kind to us, dude. We lost lost a little bit of time there. Shoot, we got, got a little bit sideways. We're asking for a little bit too much from these tires. If there was ever a time, it would be now. We've got DRS. We're 0 0.5 behind him. Oh, my goodness, dude. We go on the inside. No. I think we lost it. We are going to have another opportunity. Don't spin out here, Trev. Oh, my gosh. we I've spun out on that curb so many times in practice. I'm just going to let him go. We were going to have another passing opportunity. This is not a DRS zone. We're down to 11% to ERS. I mean, we've got DRS right here, but the finish line is like, you know, 50 yards past it. That's the finish line right there. Whew. We tried, dude. Take care of the car on the way in. We really tried. But that was like a hard-fought sixth. You know what I mean? Driver of the day is our teammate. Louis, what did you do? Smiling faces on the pit wall after a superb win here at Sakir. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Dude, Max is a beast. I can't lie. All right, let me see the, the actual results. Am I crazy or did it say that Louis got driver of the day? For a 19th position finish he's qualified p21 and finished p19 um i'm not sure why hey he beat out a ferrari because charles didn't didn't finish but uh we'll we'll take it dude okay so we've got that let me see the uh let me see the 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 can i see the constructor sandings here so cooper motors is currently in a solid p5 with 16 points four points ahead of Renault. Uh, Alfa Tauri, Alfa Romeo, Haas, and Williams don't have any points yet. Right now, Mercedes is leading the Constructors' Championship by quite a bit, but uh, we're just going to keep on grinding. All right. I love it. Cool. I mean, not not our, our best race. It would have been nice to beat Albon. I, I think in a perfect world, I probably could have beat Albon there, but it, it was nice to kind of have... A bit of a fight on our hands you know what i mean like I, I had a good time with that so hope you guys enjoyed the episode too drop a like if you did we're already up to a team level four i think at five we get our next uh our next sponsor which is exciting looks like no damage deduction so that's exciting got 1.97 million cash which is good and uh i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for week three